zero everyone else should be a zero so so that special that cell will be a special cell now i just have to figure out the count of all the special cells as you can see in this it is a special special cell as if we go in this row in this column everyone is zero if we see this in this column in this row everyone is zero it's also a special cell if we see this this column this row also zero so this is special cell. so count of special cell is three now the simple approach which comes in our mind is we want to figure out if this cell is a special cell if this cell is a, is a special cell this this so basically the simple brute force approach which, which comes in our mind is we will go on to every cell now 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 i'm standing at this cell specific cell i need to know if this is a special cell or not so first condition is that its value should be one that is first condition second condition it's its row value all the values in its row apart from him apart from him should be zero all the values in its column apart from him should be a zero so if i'm standing at this cell specifically first condition was verified that okay it's a value of one i'll go on to all of its row values which means in a specific row all the values it should be a zero then let's say if this would have been a one so i should i will go on to this and this portion to see if it is a zero if it is a case then i go on to all the column values and will have to verify that everyone should be a zero if yes if yes then this is a special cell but in this case you will see that in the column it encountered a one so for sure this is not a special cell and thus you will say that okay move on to the next cell and verify if it is a special cell or not with this fact in worst case what you will do let's imagine that you have every cell as a one every cell as a one so for every cell you will be end up going and verifying okay if i am at this cell it can it's it's a potential candidate so i'll go on to all of its rows and all of its columns in this specific row in this specific column i'll go on and check if all the values are zero if yes then i will actually go on and deep dive into and say that okay this is a special cell so what you saw firstly i'll go on to every of the cells which is m into n cells now for every cell i'll go on to this specific column which is of size m or i'll go on to and basically i'll go on to this specific row this specific row so basically for every cell i am just going on to one row and one column that's it again that is not multiplication multi multi because it is one row and one column for every row not every column it is one row and one column that's it for this cell just one row and one column m n that's it so that's the reason the time complexity of this approach which we saw the simple proof force approach will be o of m into n and multiplied by o of m plus n space will be nothing but o of 1 because we are not using any extra space we are just going on to every cell and verifying for that specific row and column if that is valid or not so ultimately the same which i did in the code also again um apologies for not writing the code on terminal because my like this hand i got on, on an accident so my this hand is not working properly so i have to write very slowly with these three fingers only like these three fingers i like my other two fingers are kind of not working right now because of some muscle issues it's physiotherapy going on but still uh so yeah that's even like we cannot code right now uh very fast so it will take a lot of time if i just write the same code uh, on the code editor but yeah no worries uh the code is simply as that we'll go on to every row and column we'll go on to every row and column now for every row i first have to check if that specific cell is a one or not if that is not simply continue if that is a one then i will go on to all of my that specific okay if this was a matrix for us right we know that we going to we will go on to all of our rows and columns okay let's say i am at this specific row comma column right now i will go on to all of my this columns like for this for this column i'll go into all the cells so i'll just say uh, i know my r equal to 0 to r equal to m and this is the column value column value is same column column and column so i'll go on to all this cells in this column and similarly i'll go on to all these cells in this 
स्पेसिफिक रो सेम c इक्वल टू जीरो टू c इक्वल टू एन एंड फॉर श्योर रो वैल्यू इज सेम रो रो एंड रो सो आई गो ऑन टू ऑल ऑफ दीज रो वैल्यूज एंड विल चेक एंड विल चेक दैट ऑल दी वैल्यूज शुड बी अ जीरो इफ इट इज अ वन इफ इट इज अ वन एंड फॉर श्योर आई विल नॉट काउंट दिस इट विल फॉर श्योर बी अ वन अपार्ट फ्रॉम हिम अपार्ट फ्रॉम हिम अपार्ट फ्रॉम द सेल विच आई एम गोना actually take as the main element apart from him if any other value is a 1 please mark as false because it is not good as and in the same case uh, when we are iterating on a row for that specific row if any of the cell apart from him is actually a 1 again mark it as false now simply uh, if ultimately it's still a good which means everyone is a 0 0 0 0 then for sure say good and increase the answer by 1 and that's how we will simply o of m into n multiply by m plus n time complexity and o space of o of 1 you will simply solve it now comes the interesting part that how you going to follow up and figure out what's the most optimal approach now just if you just go back you will go on to every cell that is for sure that is for sure you will go on to every cell because for sure you have to figure out If that cell is a good cell or not, that cell is a good cell or not. Now, why this element was required? This element, this element was only and only required just to know if I have some one value in the entire row or not. If I have some one value in the entire column or not. Apart from this, yeah, apart from this, apart from this main cell. If I have any one value apart apart from this value, if I have any other one value in this entire column or not, right? So ultimately, my aim was to all to to only get a zero zero zero, right? But my what I was trying to find out if I had something as one in the entire row or column or not, right? So your ultimate task was to just find out if there is something apart from zero or not, right? So why not? Why not? Why not? Simply take the sum of this. Simply take the sum of this specific row. And simply take the sum of this specific column. As simple as that. I'll take the sum. It will come as two. I'll take the sum. It will come as three. Now, with the fact that if I take the sum of this specific row, it will come as one. The sum of this specific column, it will come as one. Now, if the sum of basically, if I just take the sum of rows and columns, so I just take the sum in this side for every row. It is for every row. For every row, this the sum is here. It will be a one. it will be a one as simple as that and same for every column every column i will have a sum now bhaiya why you took the sum because ultimately if you remembered my main task is just to figure out if i have a something which is like i i just want ultimately all zeros if i have something more than zero for sure the sum would be more than one so i can just go and verify that bro bro one thing here the sum is one here the sum is one which means that this particular cell and for sure first check will be if this l has a value of 1 if yes then just check the sum of this specific row which you can get from one of this pre computation which which you will pre compute the sum of this specific column which you again you will pre compute if that is both one and one bro you find a good cell now in this case you will see that the cell although the value was one here that's great now you will go and check the sum that's true check the sum that's three ah If it is other than one, then for sure I would have encountered any other one values in this row or columns, and thus, sorry, uh, that would not work. And ultimately, I would say that just pass off. So what you did, you rather than going on to all these cells in the row and column, you just pre-computed the sum so that in just over one time you can figure out if that cell, that cell is the one, but the row and column. if that is all zeros or not with just simply a sum of the row and columns now ultimately you will ask what's the what's the complexity of time or the time complexity for this is as simple as that you will go on to every cell now bhaiya but you also you will also do pre computation right yeah i'll do some pre computation for that pre computation part i will simply do one thing i will go on to all of my cells like i i just want row sum right i just want row sum so this is the row sum this is a row sum this is a row sum i'll just keep it here keep it here keep it here and i also want the column sum this is this is this is now this i, I want the column sum i'll just keep the column sum so it will be 2 it will be 0 it will be 1 so just this pre computation will be needed just this pre computation will be needed which will be a o of m into n time when this pre computation will be done now i will just simply go and for every cell which is a 1 i'll just go and verify again 
Now, when I was referring that hard question, which I referred, uh, which I'll show you, this hard question, in this hard question, exactly, and see, that's a standard trick for matrix. If you can pre-compute the row and column values, that will help you a lot. In this, this pre-computation of row and column values will be the trick to actually solve it in the most optimal time. And it's actually a hard question. But yeah, with this simple trick, it will be solved very easily. Now, uh, when I am at a matrix, okay, uh, in O of M into N time, I'll go on to every of my cells. And with this pre-computed values, I will know if that specific cell, basically the row count and column count, if it's one, I'm good. If it is not, simply move on to next cell. So, uh, and but you will so you will see that with this, the space has increased. Like you will have to use the entire columns and rows, right? You will have to keep somewhere these values so space has for sure increased which is actually o of m plus n but in the industry they can be caveat between space and time but it is always recommended that if you can reduce time and increase space that is okay so uh, this is a better approach than the previous approach all the space has increased but not that much because time has decreased by quite by quite a lot of amount cool uh, we'll quickly see the code it's again uh, pretty simple firstly as i showed you i have i will have to pre-compute something what was that row and column so i just make a row and column matrix or basically row, row and column cells oh rows as in just an array so i make a row and column as a as one of my uh, arrays just to keep track of these values these values these values right here these values right here it's just two arrays row and column that's it now i just simply go on to all of my elements in the matrix and will simply just have a check okay if that is a one then simply increase your row and column for that specific i so if if that is one i like i'll say my row of i increase it by one if that is a one simply say my row of i increase it by one if that's a one simply say column of that specific j increase it by one increase it by one increase it by one and as you will encounter here just saying column of j will increase it by two and with this you will simply go and build this entire row array and this entire column array right now when this portion is entirely done you have now your row array and column array built now when you have your row and column array built now simply iterate on the entire matrix again entire matrix again now when you iterate on the entire matrix first have a quick check if that specific value is a one and also its row and column count should also be a one if all three conditions satisfy with this being the primary condition and these are the conditions to just to just have a check if that row and column count are all zeros this is for that now if that is the case then you are very good simply increase your answer if, if that's the case you are very good and simply increase your answer uh, uh, uh. yeah simply increase the answer and simply return the answer and again time capacity will be o of m into n plus o of m into n because you will see o of m into n for this and o of m into n for this so it will be ultimately o of m into n only and space will be actually o of m plus n because you will see that you are using this m and this n for row and columns so yeah with this you will quickly you will be easily able to solve this and again uh, do try this hard question although if you are stuck you can just search for this problem name maximum strictly increasing the cells in a matrix by rm method you will see you will still found this question cool bye bye